dokies. I'm going to teach you how to do this one today, isn't it? All right, let's get into it. Put your rock over the stone. <laughs> Right, so just like with any previous shaders, you will need the shader filter plugin. You can get that just from this website just here. The link is in the description. I'll also leave a link on if you're struggling to install it or anything, so I'm not taking up too much of your time today. Uh, just press download, get it all installed. And then we're going to need the actual shader itself from Excel Draw's GitHub page. Again, he's an amazing guy. He, he's do, he does shaders, he does plugins. What doesn't he do? I'd love to know. Excel Draw, what don't you do? Tell us. Um, so we're just going to press the raw button just here. You will have to make sure that you're logged into GitHub, I believe. I'm not sure, actually. I'm always logged in anyway, but it'll bring this text up just here We're gonna right click it and we're gonna press save as and then once we're here You'll see save uh, as type We're gonna change that to all files just there and we're gonna lose the dot txt at the end So it's twist dot shader. We're gonna save that directly to our desktop for now We can move it around and put it in the correct place if we want to that's the wrong OBS GG Andy So we're gonna jump into our desktop and we're gonna copy the shader just here And we're gonna go to our file path where OBS is so it's usually in C drive and then also program files or program files 86 and then you'll see OBS dash studio all lowercase once in it data OBS plugins and you should see OBS shader filter examples and paste it directly in there if you do that it'll just allow you to to easily change between shaders because it automatically opens this shader filter file anytime that you try and open one up so now we can jump into obs right click on whatever source it doesn't have to be a camera it can be any sort of source press filters and we're going to add an effect we're going to add user defined shader press ok you can call it whatever you want load shader text from file press browse and like i say it opens this exact one just here so i can pull in twist shader right now so as you can see it's starting to uh, make me look beautiful as you yeah beautiful um so you can change the x percent and the y percent so this is your x and y uh, coordinates so as i start increasing this you'll see it'll start going across the x axis so you can put it wherever you want same with the y as well so if you want it all the way down to the bottom a bit maybe a bit more central you can change that and move that around just using them too the power is how strong you want the the twist to be as well so so you can change it to however powerful you want as you can see as i'm turning it up it's starting to get more and more twisty Whoa. and you've also got a rotation one as well which depicts how much rotation it wants to add in there so you can get some really cool effects just like this using the shader filter this is a lot less intensive as stuff like snap cam so you can still get really cool effects without having to use like big filters like that for all you people that might be running a bit of uh, maybe a gaming and streaming rig at the same time so that this is a shout for you guys all right so yeah if you need any help or anything let me know in the comments down below all that jazz all right put your over the stone and i'll see you in the next one much love i just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time make it free for you guys and also a huge thanks to all my youtube members you you guys are legends thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community keep it up guys Thank you.